Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is Calculate the compound interest for the second year on Rs. 8000 invested for 3 years at 10% per annum. Also, find the amount due at the end of the third year. So, this is the question. So, I solve this. So, this question I will do with a simple interest formula. So, for that, we first write that for first year, P is equal to P means the principal that is Rs. 8000. R is equal to R means rate that is given 10% per annum and time will be so as it is first year first year means only one year so time will be one year so now you write that they are for SI for the first year will be equal to the formula is PRT by 100 PRT means P into R into T by 100 so P is 8000, R is 10 and time is 1. So it becomes 8000 into 10 into 1 by 100. So first you cut the zeros. So it remains only 800. So therefore this is the SI for the first year. So now I have to find out that the amount at the end of the first year. That means how much amount is due. So therefore write amount at the end of first year so amount formula is principal plus SI so principal is about rupees 8000 plus SI that is 800 so it becomes 8000 plus 800 which is equal to rupees 8800 so therefore this is the amount at the end of the second or first year so now we will write for the SI we have to find out the SI for the second year now so for that we write for second year Principal is equal to rupees. So now the amount at the end of the first year, that is rupees eight eight thousand eight hundred, that will become the principal for the second year. So right, principal is equal to eight thousand eight hundred. So rate will be same, that is ten percent per annum, and time will be also one year. A second year only one year. So now right, that therefore SI for the second year. So formula is P at T by 100 which is equal to 8800 into 10 into 1 by 100. First got the zeros. So it remains rupees 880. So therefore this is SI for the second year. So now I have to find the amount. So therefore amount at the end of Second year will be equal to so same formula principal plus SI. The principal is 8800 plus SI, which is 880, and it becomes which is 9680. So, therefore, this is the amount for the second year. So, now in the question, it is given that you have to find the compound interest for the second year. For that means the with this amount have to find out the compound interest. So for that we write therefore compound interest for second year is equal to so compound interest formula is amount minus original principal. So amount is it is 9680 and, and you have to take the original principal so that means the principal that is given the question that is 8000 so it becomes 9680 9, minus 8000 which becomes rupees 1680 so therefore this is the compound interest for the second year. So that means half of the part of the question is completed. Now I have to find out the amount due at the end of the third year. So for that we have to find the interest for the third year. So for that we write. For third year. Principal is equal to. So for the principal for the third year will become the amount of the end of the second year. That is 9680. It is 9680. 
so rate will be same 10 percent per annum time is equal to one year only so now they are for si for this third year equals to prt by 100 so equals to it becomes 9680 into 10 into 1 by 100 so cut the zeros first so remain 968 only so therefore this is the interest for the third year so now uh, the last thing you have to do is to have to find out the amount at the end of the third year which is the last question so therefore to write amount at the end of third year is equal to so same formula principal plus SI so principal is 9780 9, plus SI that is 968 it will become between 10748 so this will be the uh, amount of uh, amount at the end of the third year so this is the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions